what they're global warming and hurricanes. They, I mean, that thing's heading right towards them, Larissa. Right towards them. And we're going to get into that in a moment. In fact, how it's going to impact our weather because we're going to see some indirect impacts out of this. Oh, boy. But right now, we're actually off to a quiet start. And it's not all the time we get to say the entire week is going to be quiet. Currently, it's 70 degrees here in the city. We're also tracking abundant sunshine, so really nice afternoon ahead. Temperatures are sitting in the middle 60s in Trenton. We're in the low 70s, Wilmington, Dover, out towards South Jersey. We take a look at what's happening north, and we're a bit cloudier here, hence the cooler temperatures. 61 at this hour in Allentown. It's only 53 degrees at this hour in Mount Pocono. But right here in Philly, just an absolute stunning afternoon underway. Those temperatures are right at 70 and winds are a bit prevalent. They're out of the west southwest coming in at 13 miles an hour. Visibility is looking great and all in all, we're looking at just a fantastic afternoon ahead. The next 12 hours show nothing but sunshine across the region. We will see the sun come down and then eventually these temperatures bottom out into the 50s. So it's going to be another great sleeping kind of night as we're tracking just comfortable conditions out there. Winds will gradually diminish, eventually coming in closer to five miles an hour. You can open up the windows, let that fresh air in as we're tracking just a comfy night with those temperatures in the low 50s. Let's go ahead and talk Ian because we know it's going to make landfall sometime tomorrow. We're thinking sometime in the afternoon or evening around 8 p.m. is when models put it right towards the Tampa Bay area. They're already seeing some impacts out of this, so we'll start you off with tonight. This is 6 p.m. Here's that storm and notice how a lot of its moisture already impacting the sunshine state as it barrels Florida. It will lose its its tropical characteristics, but all of that moisture will begin to move northward and let's take a look at 330 on Monday. The GFS puts that rain right overhead, so we're going to be dealing with rain possibly Saturday continuing into Sunday and even lingering into the start of next week. We always love to compare models and now I'm showing you the European model, which pretty much shows the same thing. Notice here, this is Ian. This is later on this evening, and as it moves over Florida, it's going to spread its rain over our region. But this time around, the European model is a little more, it's, it's showing a bit more torrential rain as we approach Sunday. So it's just something to keep in mind. I have included rain chances starting Saturday, keeping them there through Monday. But for a nice stretch of the week, we're actually dry. The only difference here I'm seeing is that by Friday, we will notice an increase in cloud coverage. Thank you, Larissa.